Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Guilty Pleasures and today I'm going to do this look using the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Collection. So if you want to see how I achieved this look using all the products I received as a part of Top Box Circle to review, please keep on watching. And we are actually going to test out a lot of new L'Oreal products that were sent to me by Top Box Circle. So I have all the products over here. This is from the collection of Enchanted Paradise. What I thought I will do is video, like combine it with all other drugstore products and make it my first impression for the L'Oreal Enchanted collection. And also uh, use all drugstore products and make it a drugstore tutorial. So the products I have are Lash Paradise Voluminous uh, Eyeliner, Liquid Liner in Black, Liquid Liner in Rose Gold. The primer in rose gold mascara and the prime and the actual mascara lash paradise. I also have the enchanted paradise uh, eyeshadow palette, and I have the enchanted paradise L'Oreal blush as well. I have a lot of L'Oreal products, so I'm going to mix them up all over here. So these are all the L'Oreal products I am going to use along with other drugstore products. So let's get started. I already have moisturized my face, and I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte primer have it all over my skin I have used this primer before uh, it's not very silicone it's quite hydrating Let's let that set for a while while I finish my eyebrows for eyebrows the elf dip brow pomade in the shade ebony I'm also using a color swap this is a color swap I had created myself if you want to know how to do this it's a very simple DIY two items and that's it let me know in the comment section below. We will start on the eyes. For the primer of the eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Shade, barely branded. It gives a nice sheen to the eyelids. Now we're going to start using the eyeshadow palette. This is the Enchanted Paradise L'Oreal eyeshadow palette. It's scented. I have been using this for the last week and I'm actually loving it. It's very easy to use for coral colors if you're going to do an everyday look or something like that going to take a fluffy brush and use this color over here which is just the color number eight for all over my eyelids this is going to cancel any discoloration I have on my eyelids so I'm going to go ahead and use this color over here number two all over my eyelids so I'm going to use the color swap crease color I would like to use this color over here number nine and work it in my crease slowly scent is actually very very soothing it has a peachy scent but it's not over the top if you know what I mean white pigmented I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm going to use this coral shade all over my eyelid it's a beautiful color and I have been using this color non-stop doesn't have too much fallout either. I'm gonna slowly darken the crease a little bit. I'm gonna use this color over here, number 11. I'm not going for a very dramatic look. I'm gonna do a little spotlight. For that, I'm gonna use this silver color over here or this color, satin color three over here. Let's try this one over here. And I'm gonna just dab it on the middle of my eyelid. Whoa. It's beautiful. The trick to use a lighter and a darker color, actually the the trick to use a lighter color eyeliner is to use it over a darker color, that way it pops more. So we're going to finish the eyes soon. I'm going to use a cream color eyeliner by Annabelle. This is in the shade beige and line it under my eyes. This is going to open the eyes up a little bit more. Canceling out my dark circles, I'm going to use the Revlon concealer in the shade medium. It in using the warmth of my fingers. Foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105 Natural Beige. I'm going to dab it all over my face. 
I'm gonna, instead of beauty blender, I'm gonna use a damp sponge and blend it all over my face. Wait for that to set in a little bit and then I'm going to do the highlighting by another L'Oreal product. For setting my foundation, because I do have an oily skin, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, powder foundation. This is in the shade, classic ivory. Just gonna take a fluffy brush, just dab it all over my face. For under eye highlighting and concealing, I'm gonna use L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This is supposed to be dupe of the YSL to shake lab. I've used this before and it works quite well. Usual areas of highlighting. Take the same damp sponge and blend it in. For setting the under eyes, I'm going to use a setting brightening powder by Heart Candy. It's called Sheer Envy Big Brighten and Set. The yellow base powder, so it helps brightening the under eyes. Slightly bake, so I'm going to use my sponge, place the powder under my eyes, and also place it under my contour. While that's setting, Let's finish the under eyes. Now we're going to finish the rest of the eyeliner by using the Lash Paradise Rose Gold Liner Pen. Now we're going to place it under the black. I mean, we are going to layer it, you can see it. And then fill that gap in there quite saturated with the product so that it looks like you have lined the golden the rose gold liner with the black same thing for the other eye I'm also going to use this for my inner corners a little bit so this is how the liner looks the wand is very nice and interesting to use it's firm and soft at the same time so you can bend it but you cannot break it and it's firm enough that it's going to stay and move the way you want it to move. Now we're going to dust off the excess powder from the face, just using a fluffy brush to do that. For contouring, I'm going to use a Sephora eyeshadow. This is actually not an eyeshadow, it's called, it's actually a face powder, it's called Tranquil and it's one of the best contour shades. For bronzer, I'm going to use the NYC bronzer in the shade Manhattan. So I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I just realized we have forgotten to do that. For that, I'm going to use the very first shade, shade number one, to do that. You curl the eyelashes and apply the lash primer first. I'm not going to use falsies today because I do want to see the effectiveness of this eyelash. Uh, the mascara. First, we're going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Base. Wiggle it. Woo. I already see it separating my lashes. I have a feeling I'm going to love it. So while that's setting down, let's finish up the face. For blush, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Enchanted Paradise Collection again. And the shade I'm using is Fantastical. It has a beautiful peachy scent. The same thing, not over the top that you'll be uncomfortable by, but it's just right. This is how the blush looks. It has a sheen on it. It's quite pigmented. Ooh, it's... It's beautiful. I love it. I love peachy blushes and this is one of my favorites now. Now I'm going to use a liquid highlighter from L'Oreal. That's right. I'm going to use a Magic Lumi. This is called Light Infusing Primer, but it works amazing as a highlighter. Let's show you. This much is more than enough. Three dots. Take your sponge and blend it in. Do you see that? It 
gives that perfect sheen. Before that sets, I'm going to take a powder highlighter and put it on top of the liquid highlighter. Our highlighter is L'Oreal Lumi Collection, shade Golden. It's supposed to be a champagne pop dupe, the color right here. Do you see that glow? It's not over the top, but it's great for every day. Now we're going to use the Lash Paradise Mascara and put it on the eye primer. As you can see, the eyelashes already look quite clump free, separated and long. So let's see what this does. I like this mascara as it is. A lot of people say it's a dupe of the Too Faced mascara. I actually find this better. You see that guys. For lipstick, I am going to use another L'Oreal product. Actually, two separate choices. Revlon Lip Balm Matte Tint or the L'Oreal Freda Collection. I used this last day and it's beautiful for an everyday look. But if you want to glam up your look a little bit, Freda's Red from L'Oreal Collection is the way to go. Now we're going to set the makeup using a drugstore makeup setting spray. This is the Heart Candy Sheer Envy, the match setting spray. Don't be shy while dousing yourself in it. So I'm back. I put on, quickly popped in some earrings. This is summer colors and this is how the finished look is. For conclusion, I can say I definitely love this eye palette. The shadows are buttery, smooth, pigmented, something that you can use every day or glam up your look, smoking. They are the perfect flesh toned eyeshadows for every day. And they smell amazing. For the blush, I quickly fell in love with the blush. It's a peachy blush. It has a nice sheen, but not it's not glitter or shimmer. I absolutely love the eyelash primer. I can see what difference it made to me. I'm not sure if it's very visible on the camera, but once mixed with the Lash Paradise Mascara, it's an amazing duo. The two liners, I absolutely love the black liner. The rose gold is good as well, but it can take a while to show up. So let me know if you also have this collection, if you have enjoyed this collection, and what are the products you enjoy, what are other products you enjoy from L'Oreal. If you like my videos, please click on the like button down there, and also click on the bell icon to be notified for my future videos. If you have any special requests, please leave that in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye.